Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, we will see how to use the dual button feature in Elementor. Here is an example of a dual button. Here on the left hand side, you will see YouTube and on the right hand side, you will see Facebook icon. If I click on this one, it will open the YouTube. And if I click on this one, it will open the Facebook website. So this is an example of a dual button. Now let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. Now I am on the dashboard of the WordPress website and to use the dual button, we will need a free plugin. Now this is an add-on plugin for Elementor and the name of the plugin is Elements Kit Lite. Let me show you how you can install it. Go to plugins and then go to add new. And here search for Elements Kit Lite. So this is the plugin that you will need to install in order to use this dual button feature on your Elementor website. I have it already installed so that's why it shows active. Okay now let's go to the page. So this is the dummy page on which we are going to create the dual button. I have it created already. So now I'm going to add a new section and I'll create the same button below. Click on the plus sign, add a new section. And let's add some padding here. Okay, here we are going to add the dual button. So click on the plus sign and search for button. Or you can simply search for dual button. So this is the widget that we are going to use. The name of the widget is dual button. And here you will see small writing here that is EKRT. That means element skit light. So this widget is the part of element skit light. So click on it, drag it and drop it here. So this is the default layout. Now we want it center aligned. So click on the center align. Now here you do not see the text in the middle that is this text. So here you need to enable it middle text, click on yes. Now this is the text, you can make it R in capital. Or you can change this text and use whatever you want. Now this is the button width, right now it shows 40%. So I'm going to change it to 60%. Now here we have button one and here we have button two. So let's go to button one and text right now it shows button so i'm going to use let's say youtube we are going to create the same button that we have here and here you can type in link of the website where you want them to go okay you want to add the icon yes so click on the icon and search for youtube insert it and the position will be before so before the text spacing let's change it to 10 okay so on the first button we have got the text and the icon and we have got the link also now we'll go to button 2 change the text to facebook and here you can type in the link for this website and for the icon click on it and search for the icon you can choose any icon i'm going to choose this one insert it now the icon should be after the text so i'm going to select after okay so we have got the content now let's go to style settings so this is for the first one the text color is white that's okay now typography change the typography i'm going to change the size of the text to 30 weight and i want to add some border radius also so i'm going to use the border radius so here you will see the border radius background color i'm going to change the background color click on it and look for the background color so this one looks good i'm going to use this one so this is the background color for the first button only if you want to add image you can also add the image if you want to add box shadow like this you can add the box shadow so I'm going to use the shadow here 
to the left hand side and vertical to the bottom so we have got the box shadow here padding we do not need this alignment leave it as it is now let's go to button 2 and change the style settings type in change the font size 30 so that it will match the size of this button first now add the same border radius 10 so here you will see the border radius change the background type and change the background color this one whatever color you want to choose you can choose the color box shadow you can change the box shadow so here you will see the box shadow and this is for the middle text this is the text let's change the size to let's say 25 and width 500 in our background type leave it as it is or if you want to change the background type you can change that also so i'm going to use the yellow one and this is the text color now this is the width right now it shows 40 you can change that also let's make it 60 and height will be 60 so this the circle will be bigger than the original one so let's save this update it let's go back to the page and refresh it now here you will see the dual button that we just created if i click on it it will open the youtube so let's go ahead and change the link opening select let's go to content button one and i want to open it in a new window so check this one go to button two next to the link click on it open in new window update it let's go back refresh it now click on it and it will open the website in a new window now click on it and it will open the website in a new window. All right, so this is how you can use the free dual button in Elementor website. So that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.